Okay, so how many of you have ever driven without your seatbelt on? How many of you have ever been on the phone while you were driving? And how many of you have ever let a child sit in the front seat when it was not legal to? Well, these are all bad things, and I'm going to tell you the consequences of them, what, sorry, um, of what, if you do them and how to prevent them. So about two years ago, my cousins Cody and Jay died in a car accident in Leesville, Texas. An 18-wheeler eight, ran into them, and Jay died immediately, and Cody died at the hospital. Um, so it's really emotionally painful because you don't want anybody to feel that way because their cousins died, and you feel sympathy for them, and you don't want them to feel like that. So no, this shouldn't happen to nobody. So just always buckle up your seatbelts because none of them are wearing seatbelts. So they, if they were wearing seatbelts, they probably would have lived. So the third side. OK, sorry. Um, there are basically four rules um, when you're driving. The first one is um, don't drink and drive. Don't be on the phone while you're driving. Always have your seatbelt on. And children must weigh 95 pounds and be five feet tall for them to sit in the front seat. So texting while driving is a really big problem all around the world. Um, to prevent it, it's really easy. You can just put your phone in the back seat, in the glove compartment, or on your, in your purse, or just put it on silent mode. So you won't be distracted by it, because when you're on the phone while you're driving, most of your focus is on your phone instead of when on the road. And you ha your focus has to be on the road when you're driving, because you have lives in danger. And so drinking and driving is really bad, because you are less responsive when you are intoxicated. So if a car went into your lane, you wouldn't slow down for them. You'd just go as fast as you were going. So you would ultimately end up in a car accident or something like that. And you would either die or have major injuries or kill the other person. OK, so seatbelts are also really, really important because they, when you're wearing your seatbelt, you have a less chance of flying forward when you're in a car accident. And if you were in a car accident, you, if you flew forward, you would probably end up bumping your head and having a concussion or having the airbag knock all the air out of you. So you don't want that to, ha that to happen because it's very like painful and you might die and go to the hospital, have very major injuries. So thanks for watching and hope you stay safe.